am Stefan de Gael, the Form 5 Dean at Fatima College. And with me today is Mr. Douglas Dabidi, the President of the Parent Support Group, also called the PSG. Douglas, thank you for having us today. Thank you for, for having me as well, um, Stefan. I'm willing to help. I'm happy to be here with you. Thank you. So we are exploring just a little bit what has the Fatima experience of this novel COVID-19 period has been. On the, from the side of being a Fatima parent and the president of the Parent Support Group, what has your experience been and the experience of the parents of the college been? Um, my son, I'd, I'd, I'd start by saying that my son is in Form 6. And as such, the number of subjects that he has is, is only four. So it's been a lot less time, screen time, that he has had compared with a lot of the other parents. By and large, I would say that his experience has been a very good one. Um, the, the transition to the online learning has, of course, been a challenge for everyone. But I think that his experience has been a positive one. Speaking with other parents in the, in the lower schools, more in my role as a PSG parent, um, president, sorry, um, I think that by and large parents have been quite happy with what has been provided by the college. I think the key here has been for us as, as parents is the support that we have got from the teaching staff at the school, especially when we compare with schools outside of other, other schools. I think that once again the Fatima teachers have really stepped up their game as always seems to be the case and we're very pleased with that and I think that they've really done a fantastic job in keeping, keeping education going at Fatima College over these last couple of months. In this virtual space that has now become the, essentially the new normal, how has the PSG been able to successfully mobilize itself in in being part of what has now become the, the, the mode of operation during this period? I think that there was worldwide, obviously, um, a lot of uncertainty as to how things would actually play out going forward. And where we have been able to help and where the school has been very willing to assist has been in communication with respect to what was decided among the administration of the school, the heads of, heads of departments, the principal, the deans, etc., and how that was communicated to the parents, to the, to the students as well, and then the feedback loop that we were able to provide and create among the school. So we were able to continue with our, our monthly meetings. I think we missed one, but we did have, we did have three meetings. One was a two-part meeting actually one year. At those meetings, we were able to have the opportunity as parents and to provide the PSG, provide the platform whereby Father Gregory, who sits at all our meetings, was able to field questions and answer questions from the parents. And I think that gave the parents a great deal of comfort and satisfaction knowing that they were able to, to, to have that feedback in an open and, and relaxed forum. So that was, that was very helpful from the, in, in, in giving that level of comfort to the parents to deal with this new, this new way of doing things. Is there any particular event or activity that you think, the, as parents of the college, that you have been able to even make the necessary adjustments to in performing the, the role of the PSG in the life of the college? Okay, so the PSG has certain roles and functions throughout, throughout the, the school year. Term three, our roles are to help with the Mayfair, which is the major fundraiser of the school. Of course, that didn't happen this year. Um, however, Father Gregory approached us with the need for the refurbishment of the washrooms, which is currently taking place. The thought long before COVID descended its dreary self on all of us was that these washrooms would have been refurbished during this period. In order to facilitate the the financing of it, which was hoped to have come, we, we hoped to get those funds from the Mayfair, we decided that we would ask the parents for cash contributions towards it. And it, the response has really been very overwhelming by the parents, especially given the financial constraints that a lot of people, most people I would say, have found themselves in in these, in these times. And so we were able to, to raise a lot of the funds towards that. And I'm very thankful to the parents for once again stepping up. The other, the other 
event that we're responsible for in the third term is the career day, which is geared towards the Form 3 students who are on the cusp of choosing their subjects going forward into Forms 4 and 5, as you know. Um, the career day in the past has, been, has taken the form of, a, of an expo in the hall where we get presenters to come in and they will discuss the various industries from which they, they come with the boys and the boys will have an opportunity to ask questions. Um, of course, that also could not happen this year, so we did it in a Zoom environment, a Zoom forum, which the year group of the, the parents of the year group, I, I say PSG, but PSG has an executive, but beyond that, we have subcommittees. The career day is actually, is actually organized by the, a committee of Form 3 parents, led by Mrs. Nicola Bood in this, this particular year. Um, so they came up with this idea of having it in a Zoom session where they had, I think it was 10 presenters throughout the day, um, each of whom had a time slot and they would present to the boys who would then have an opportunity to, to ask questions and get feedback that way. Um, we were also able this year to open it up because space was unlimited essentially to the Forms 5 and 6 boys as well to further give them a little insight into the real world beyond school and in their thoughts of their career paths. The feedback from the career day this year was actually very, very good. A lot of the boys and their parents and particularly presenters felt that there was a lot more engagement with the boys. The boys were more focused. They were able to ask more pertinent, mature questions than in years gone by. Some of the presenters who we had before said they noticed a marked improvement in how the interaction went. So. We were very happy with that, and that's something we need to look at going forward, certainly how we will conduct this going forward. But it's the, I think when you, when, you, when you sit back and things are happening and you're not going to school every day and dropping your yeah. children to school, it, it's, you sometimes get disassociated yeah. with it, you know. And I'm, I'm very proud that we were able to step up and, and host this career day, which Father Gregory was very keen to have, and we were able to do it. So I'm very proud and happy that we were able to do that. Now, people like ourselves who are part very much of the day-to-day -day activities and life of the college, we see firsthand the energy of parents and their interest and so on with anything related to the college. But for those looking in from the outside, what can you say to them that characterizes the energy of, of the parents? What do, to what do you attribute this, this interest of parents in the life of the college? I would have to say belonging. If I had to sum it up, it would be the feeling of belonging. I am an old boy myself. I, um, I know what my parents' experience at Fatima was. It's different now. There's a very strong sense that the school goes beyond the property in Mokarapu Road. And there's a sense of wanting to bring the families into the school. That has been so since I, it, 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 it shocked me more than surprised me when I first became a parent six odd years ago and I attended my first PSG meeting, there was this sense that everyone was welcome. Everybody was there, everybody's um, points of view were, were entertained. The fact that Father Gregory comes and sits at nearly all of our meetings gives every parent an opportunity to interact directly with the principal on a monthly basis. And that sense of community, that sense of belonging, then grows as parents believe that they have a say, that they have an opportunity to contribute. And parents want to. The parent body of any school is the most powerful force that you have, that, that silent army of people. And if you include them into your running of the school and whatever, they always step up. And it's, it, it's really fascinating to look at at Fatima how that has been. And I know at other schools, they, they, they struggle to get that sort of inclusion. And that's been very, very important to the success of the PSG and to the success of the college, I think. So Douglas, thank you very much for joining us as we continue to explore the COVID-19 experience of Fatima College. Thank you very much.